And I think purchasing gear like that and having that mindset is the key to really um, getting the most out of out of what you what you end up like spending because gears gears expensive. It's it's not cheap. You know, yesterday I was actually I was going to um, yesterday's audio was kind of uh, well, it was kind of shitty in the second half, and I wanted to address that and apologize uh, on the microphone that I'm, I'm talking on. Uh, there's there's a bunch of different pickup patterns and that one was actually set to instead of super directional It was set to more of a wide so it sounded like just a, like it sounded like I didn't have a microphone on the camera at all And I wanted to apologize for that and I was coming out here to actually apologize uh, About that microphone when these this guy is just not turning on I think it's only poetic and kind of ironic that I'm going to complain about audio and my other audio solution <laughs> isn't working either okay today's off to a great start after I finished my whole diatribe of just complaining to you about these microphones not working uh, they magically just turned turned back on there's something poetic <laughs> about that I start complaining about a piece of gear that I'm and I'm honestly willing to like sell and try to get a new piece of gear and then the old piece of gear gets rid of the one excuse that I am uh, I'm using to justify getting a new piece of gear that I don't really need also it's it's lunchtime now where I'm uh, where we're making we're making tacos or she's making steak tacos the the steak we get I haven't mentioned this before and this kind of has nothing to do with microphones but I'm gonna tell you anyway the steak that we get is actually um, from a local cattle farm and we actually shot the, the one of the people that owns the that cattle farm we shot their wedding um, so we kind of have a hookup that way one benefit to shooting people's weddings and doing like stuff locally enough and long enough you start to make connections like that to where you get um, you get you get things like steak that tastes better than any any restaurant. No, nothing compares to this steak, right? Right. Really, one of my only requirements for, for gear, or the biggest requirement for gear, is I want this stuff to just work when I need it to, because the last thing that I want to do is, I, I don't want to fumble around in settings, or worry that the thing is actually going to be recording or working when I need it to. I like to work fast, and uh, if, if, it do, if it can't like keep up, then it's just a nuisance to me. I know that's kind of, I know that's kind of a crazy, crazy uh, expectation for gear. For me, in the way that I make videos, it just, it works a lot, a lot better uh, if, if things just can be, can be dependable. Do you hear that ringing or is it just me? In an effort to make sure that the gear stands the best chance and to ensure that, uh, to take the factor out of like my own like personal screw ups, I make sure that I really do my research and I really know pretty much the ins and outs to every piece of gear and what it's capable of and what it can and can't do. I try to do that before I actually purchase the gear. It's very rare for me just to buy something on a whim. Um, Mostly because I, I, I kind of want to know what I'm getting myself into with, uh, with that piece of gear. And because of that, I, uh, when things do fail, I, it's very rarely ever standing on trash. It's very, it's, it's very rarely um, my doing. Like there, there are occasions where I do like screw up because I'm a human, but a lot of times or most times, like with the gear just not turning on and stuff like that, uh, there's nothing, it's, it's not my fault is what I'm trying to say. And yesterday's video was talking about the one setting that I actually use on my camera and that's pretty much it. And that's, that's just it. Literally I only use one setting and it's just to adjust the, the aperture to control the amount of light so that my pr image is, pr is properly exposed. And for me, again, I like to work fast, I like to work spontaneously, and uh, I just need things to work like that, which is why I'm such a big fan of my iPhone because 90% of the time it works and it produces an okay image and I have three lenses that I don't have. It doesn't take up any any extra space in my 
in my pocket. The only downfall with that with the iPhone is is the audio. Um, but I think I found a solution. I, I and if it is a good solution, then I'll make a video about it. If not, then just forget I said this whole thing. But at the end of the day, I like to buy gear that's dependable, and I and that's it. I, I don't care what the brand is. I don't care. Um, what it looks like if it produces a good image and it's consistent that's really what I care about and I think purchasing gear like that and having that mindset is the key to really um, getting the most out of out of what you what you end up like spending because gears gears expensive it's it's not cheap I'm also up on up on my roof right now I don't know why I don't come up here more it's uh it's pretty I mean look at the view behind me you see the see the skyline that's beautiful it's gorgeous I just, I always, I always forget that it's here, I guess. And there's never anybody, there's never anybody up here. Today is a, um, today is yet another work from home day for Savannah and I. And basically, uh, what that means, like, like always, is uh, we're pretty much in our house all day long, um, just just working. Like we again, our house is our office, and if we had if we had to go to like a nine to five, then that's where we would be instead of sitting at home on our couch. We've actually been thinking about um, maybe switching couches or getting like a smaller couch and maybe like a recliner, mostly just because, as embarrassing as this is, um, we're getting older and. Uh, had to adjust your, your light and uh well our backs aren't what they used to be and because of that we're looking at getting <laughs> we're actually looking at getting maybe like a lazy boy recliner or or something else but we're still trying to figure that out and i i used to be i used to be uh, you're really grainy all right so see how this is super grainy i'm going to bring the iso all the way up this is a good demonstration of what i was talking about yesterday all the way up, okay, you're at the second ISO, and I'm bringing the aperture, aperture down. So you should, in theory, in theory you should look a lot cleaner. Um, but uh, we've, uh, we've been looking at getting a, a Lazy Boy recliner. Like, I grew up with my dad, like, never getting out of the Lazy Boy recliner, and um, it was just, the, it's the pinnacle of, like, an old person, and I swore that I would never get one, but now, with my back hurting, like, it's like my lower back, uh, it's looking a lot more, it's looking a lot more tempting. <sighs> All right, also you were sitting on this little water pipe thing. It also works as a tripod. <laughs> Thank you. 